Upon injury, pathogenic microorganisms like bacteria can invade the body, which eventually can cause infections. Neutrophil granulocytes are important players in the cellular immune system and they are first in line to detect and destroy bacteria by a process called phagocytosis. But how do neutrophils find the bacteria? Neutrophils express receptors for formulated peptides that are chemoattractants released from bacteria. Neutrophils use these formulated peptide receptors to detect and pursue bacteria by following chemoattracting gradients emanating from sources of infection. Upon binding of formulated peptides to a receptor on one side of a neutrophil, the cells respond with an increase in intracellular calcium that activates mitochondria to rapidly generate ATP. Panexin-1 channels release the newly generated ATP into the extracellular space. Once released, ATP binds to P2Y2 type purinergic receptors that promote a second round of calcium signaling and trigger further mitochondrial activation and ATP release. Localized release of ATP from a stimulated cell defines their leading edge and the direction the cells will have to migrate to reach the source of the chemoattractant gradient field. Live cell imaging of neutrophils under the microscope reveals that cells are activated as soon as formulated peptides are added. Stimulated cells then form a leading edge and align in the chemotactic gradient field. Using a biosensor that shows ATP release, one can see that ATP release occurs immediately after cells detect formulated peptides and that ATP release is focused at hot spots near the leading edge immediately before cells begin to migrate upstream of a chemoattractant gradient field. After cell stimulation, a second phase of ATP release causes the activation of P2X type purinergic receptors that facilitate the influx of calcium from the extracellular space. This phase is paralleled by a metabolic transition from mitochondrial to glycolytic ATP production, allowing cells to function under hypoxic conditions. The co-localization of mitochondria with panexin-1 can be seen with microscopy. In this live cell imaging video, green fluorescent panexin-1 fusion proteins translocate to the leading edge together with mitochondria that have been labeled with mitotracker red. During cell polarization, a number of critical signaling molecules translocate to specific regions of a stimulated cell, panexin-1, CD39, alkaline phosphatase and A3 adenosine receptors translocate to the leading edge, whereas A2A adenosine receptors move to the back of cells. Ectonucleotidases such as CD39 and ALP cleave released ATP to ADP, AMP and adenosine. Adenosine formed in that process then binds to A3 and A2A adenosine receptors at opposing sides of polarized cells. These events stabilize the shape of the polarized cell and affect the cytoskeleton and gradient sensing. This results in a push-pull mechanism that drives cell migration and allows neutrophils to efficiently move upstream of chemoattractant gradient fields, where they can engage invading bacteria and other pathogens that must be removed to protect the host from infections.